The Pogues star Shane McGowan's funeral took place on Friday, December 8 with mourners lining the streets of Dublin to pay their respects. The procession for the singer, who died last week at the age of 65, took place in Dublin before his funeral mass later this afternoon in Tipperary, where Shane lived when he was a young boy. Shane was suffering with his health in the years before his death, and was hospitalized for viral encephalitis, inflammation of the brain, and shingles in December 2022. In June, he was admitted to the ICU in June, with his wife Victoria Mary Clark sharing updates on his condition. He was discharged from St. Vincent's Hospital in Dublin in November, just days before his death. Speaking about Shane following his death, Victoria said, I am blessed beyond words to have met him and to have loved him and to have been so endlessly and unconditionally loved by him and to have had so many years of life and love and joy and fun and laughter and so many adventures. On Friday, McGowan's remains were carried in a glass horse-drawn carriage with his coffin adorned with an Irish tricolor flag and featuring a black and white photograph of the singer in his youth. McGowan's widow Victoria Mary Clark traveled in a car behind the cortege, which was led by the Artane band. Shane's widow Victoria Mary Clark kept positive as she smiled for the camera from the car she was sitting in. The black vehicle followed the horse-drawn carriage closely behind as it made its way through the streets. Victoria and Shane tied the knot in November 2018 after a decades-long relationship and subsequent 11-year engagement. The two married in Copenhagen and lived in Dublin. Members of the public through flowers and musicians played a pair of brown eyes and fairy tale of New York as the funeral procession passed Sweeney's Pharmacy in central Dublin, which featured in James Joyce's Ulysses. Among those who turned out to pay their respects was Aidan Grimes, 60 who described McGowan as an icon. He said, I remember the first time I saw the Pogues in the Hammersmith Odeon in 1985. It is imprinted in my mind forever, just the madness and mayhem, the raucous nature of his singing and the music they were playing. Through the years he evolved into a great poet and he will be sadly missed. I met him in Dublin about 15 years ago and he was a very charming, nice, friendly man. He talked about music and his time in London. I thought it was important to pay my respects. He was an icon of Dublin, just like Brendan Behan, Luke Kelly. His music will be listened to in 100 years time. Josephine from County Leitrim, traveled to Dublin to pay her respects. She said, My father's family were from Tipperary, my grandmother was from Nina. We don't always know all the lyrics but this week we know more of Shane's lyrics, they are really very moving, they are poetry. He was a genius. His legacy will live on forever. Bruce Springsteen said in 100 years time we will be singing the words of his songs. Father Pat Gilbert told RTE that the funeral would celebrate the spiritual side of McGowan. He said, it's a side of him that's not known but it's a side of him we must celebrate. It's a side that was important to him in the context of his living of his life. We will have the right of reception, we'll have mass and we'll have the right of final accommodation interspersed with pieces of his music which will be performed by some of his friends. I think that's the right thing to do, that's the way to celebrate the man, the faith, the music and the lyric. It's the way to celebrate and remember the husband, the brother, the son and the brother-in-law. Following the funeral mass, the public will also have the opportunity to pay their respects as the funeral cortege moves through Nina Town Centre from Church Road to Market Cross. 
a private cremation will follow. McGowan was born to Irish parents in 1957 in Pembury, Kent, and he soon moved to rural Tipperary where he was immersed in a culture of Cayley bands and show bands. The Pogues frontman, best known for the hit festive song Fairy Tale of New York, died peacefully at 3 a.m. on November 30 with his wife and family by his side, a statement from his relatives said. He was due to celebrate his 66th birthday on Christmas Day. Newsletter here.